my name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video. I've been focusing a lot on school and that took a lot of my time so I wasn't able to put out any new videos but as you know I did put out the Orgy Jeffree Star collection video recently even though I did film that about seven or eight months ago back when I was posting every single week but I am here again hopefully returning and being more consistent with uploading because I really do enjoy this and I need to get back to the things I really enjoy. I got this collection when it first came out and haven't used it, haven't touched it. I just put it to the side and I was like, oh, I'll use it like eventually or I'll mess around with it eventually. I would have liked to have put out a video about this sooner when it first came out, but I didn't have enough time to do it. But I am very excited to do it now. I'm very excited to review it, to use it. And it would have been really nice to use on St. Patrick's Day though, but I just didn't. I used different palettes for St. Patrick's Day. So shiny. This is the palette. It is very pretty. I'm sure most of you have seen it before. It's not new, really. So really, I mainly got this palette because this shade here is called Chameleon Fetish. And as some of you may know, or some of you may not know, I have chameleons. So it's like on brand for me. I am very excited about this palette. I love greens. I love the way I look in greens. I have green eyes. So I feel like they complement my eyes very nicely and that it looks end up looking really nicely on me. Most of my face makeup is already done and set. I have not done a highlight because this collection came with two highlights and I've actually decided to use them both. I'm gonna use one on one side and one on the other because I can't decide which one I wanna choose and I haven't tried them yet. So there's the lighter one, which is the shade Stripper Magic. I love that cute name. And then there's the gold green one, which is called Cold Hard Cash. They, I guess they both kind of have a greenish tint to them. I'm going to take my highlighting brush from the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Collaboration. And of course it's bubble lining as always because these extreme frosts really are. I think that sometimes they're too much. In real lighting, like not studio lighting, I feel like it looks really, really weird. And the fact that it's very colored, like all of them are very colored, I think that gives off like a, a dark kind of line. Like I've had people be like, why is your cheek green? Or like, why is your cheek purple? All right, that's way more green than I expected it to be, but super pretty. That one was Stripper Magic. Now for Cold. Hard Cash, which is supposed to be the gold one, but kind of looks green. Oh, this one's pressed a lot more firm. I'm gonna put that on this side. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. All right, I'm gonna do a swatch because they kind of look exactly the same. Oh yeah, pretty much. This is Stripper Money. What is it? Oh, it's called? No. <laughs> okay. So this one's Stripper Magic and this one's Cold Hard Cash. So they're very, very similar. So that's it for the highlighters. Of course, this collection came with mirrors as well, two coin-typed mirrors. And of course, I need them all because I have almost all of the mirrors and I've got a very big obsession. Very big, like 60 mirrors big. But it's okay, I'm a collector. This collection also came with four glosses, Peach Price Tag, Untouchable, Blood Money, and Paid in Full. I think that Blood Money and Paid in Full are probably my favorite. They are super sparkly and pretty. This collection also came with one of the mini liquid lip bundles. Luxurious, as always. I don't have anything in particular planned for my eyeshadow today, so I'm just gonna wing it like usual. I'm going to prime my eyes and bring you guys forward so you can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. I'm going to start by using the shade Chameleon Fetish. I'm going to use my Morphe M456 brush. I'm just going to run it through the crease for now. Wow! That is really pretty. I'm going pretty heavy handed into this shade so that it shows up really nicely because this shade is really pretty but it is very light. I'm now going to take the shade Jaded on my Morphe 507 brush. I'm going to use that in the outer portion of my crease. In a triangle motion. 
so that it starts building up that outer shape. Okay, so this side is gonna come out way better than this one. <laughs> this one's just so bad. I'm now gonna take that shade Chameleon Fetish again and blend up around that shade Jaded to try to blend that back in. The next shade I'm going into is called Heavyweight and I'm going to use my Morphe M149 brush. And I'm gonna take that a little bit more into my crease and down and next to that shade faded. So I'm gonna blend that into the chameleon shade. And then back into the shade faded. Now that I have that pretty blended out, I'm gonna try to go in with another one of the lighter green shades. I'm gonna go in with mint condition with one of my Sweetie collaboration brushes. And I'm gonna use that to try to blend where this harsher line is because the chameleon shade is a little bit too light to blend it out. Looks a lot more blended in person than it does on camera. That mint shade is definitely helping a little bit. I'm gonna go into the shade Crocodile Tears with a very short, dense brush to line my lash line. And I'm gonna buff that out a little bit with that mint condition shade. This part of my eye doesn't really like to take color. I don't know if you can tell, that part's a little bit patchy. It's not because of the eyeshadow or anything, it's just that part of my eye never wants to take color. I am going to do a cut crease. So in order to make it super crisp, I'm going to use makeup remover to remove the makeup from the portion of the eye that I want to cut. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip, make sure it's damp, not dripping or anything. And just start rubbing. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side, hopefully with the same amount of accuracy. All right, now that I have the crease cut with makeup remover, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use some concealer on my M124 brush, my favorite crease cutting brush, and I'm gonna cut my crease. Because this is gonna crease quickly, I'm just gonna do this one, then I'll do that one afterwards. I'm gonna first try to go in with the Morphe 224 brush and go into the shade Geo. Whoa. That is intense. <laughs> wow, this shade is way better than I thought it was gonna be. If all that is real, but this shade is so pigmented. And maybe I didn't even need a good crease. All right, to blend between the gold and the green, I'm going to take this shade Poison Ivy on one of my flat brushes and just kind of pat it in the middle, overlapping between the two. Oh, that's really pretty. This reminds me of that shade Al in the Alien palette. It's very, very similar. Windshield washer motions between the two. blends so nicely with that gold shade. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this eye. To finish off my eyeshadow look, I'm gonna go into the shade Emerald Estate and just tap a little bit of that glitter on the outer corners. For my brown bone and my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with Divine Intervention, the lightest shade in the palette, just like I usually do. And I'm gonna use that on my Morphe M131 brush. It's got a really nice green, shifty kind of thing going on. Very, very metallic. All right, that finishes up the eyeshadow look. I'm now gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Exit for my waterline. 
For my mascara, I'm going in with the new Jeffree Star mascara. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. I'm not overly impressed with it because it says it's waterproof and everything else proof, right? But like when water gets on it, it just flakes. I don't know if I'm the only person having this problem, but yeah. I really am sad about that, but like I still use it. It's not a problem for me. It's just not very everything proof. I guess when water hits it, it doesn't like run, but it flakes. Like when I wash my face, it just flakes off. Like obviously a mascara is gonna come off when you wash your face, but like with just water. It's a pretty mascara, but I have better. Like my MAC mascara is definitely way better than this. It's my favorite. Like my lashes look okay, but they normally look better. For my lips, I'm gonna go in with one of the minis. And this is in the shade Bankroll. This is super metallic. I'm not sure if it's my favorite shade ever, but it works. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Blood Money for the gloss. I wasn't originally gonna put a gloss over this, but maybe a little bit. Just dabbing a little bit on the front. You can barely tell, but it makes it just a little bit shinier. I went ahead and threw on some of my Back End Beauty Lashes, which is a friend of mine's brand. A friend of mine's brand? I went ahead and threw on some Back End Beauty Lashes. Uh, these are a little bit too big for my eye because I didn't cut them because I was just lazy. It's like really late at night and I just didn't want to cut them. But they are really pretty. I think that they're maybe a little bit too big for my style, but I mean, some people love to rock the big lashes. Uh, the link for these lashes is down in the description. It's always going to be in the description box of all of my videos. If you go and purchase some of these, let me know. I will give you a shout out on my channel or on Instagram to try to boost your following a little bit. It would mean a lot to me if you were to shop her brand. Uh, she is a friend of mine. I've known her for a very long time. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Don't forget to like and comment down below what your favorite part of the collection was. So there is a giveaway in today's video because I didn't get to do a giveaway for my 100 subscribers. So I'm calling it my 140 subscriber giveaway. There are two items in this giveaway. It is going to be first the Extreme Frost in the shade Gag Me and then also the Blue Bud Palette. In order to be entered in the giveaway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you are notified the next time I put out any new videos. I will be doing more giveaways, so be on the lookout for those with a whole bunch more items. This giveaway ends in two weeks, so that's gonna be 14 days that this is open. For an extra entry in the giveaway, go ahead and follow my Instagram. It is also in the description. Good luck. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be entered in the giveaway. You don't want to miss out. And for all of the future giveaways, you don't want to miss out on those either. See you next time. Got my lashes peeling up this whole time I'm talking. My lash keeps falling off. I did not put enough glue on this lash. Bye. <laughs>